Hello folks, I'm L.A. Little and this is your daily Neo T.A. Wrap. Well, we take a look at these markets and we do it from a neoclassical perspective each time asking ourselves what happened today and what does it tell us about the coming ones. I do this show four times a week every Monday through Thursday, broadcast at or before 10 o'clock Eastern Time, archived on YouTube under the channel L.A. Little. If you haven't subscribed, reach up on the right hand corner and subscribe anytime content's pushed, you'll get notification. As far as what did happen in these markets, let's take a look at it here. Uh, you had gold. You actually had the commodities in general getting whacked today. And uh, gold down a per, almost a percent. The highlights, uh, Europe, they traded up. DAX traded up again. Um, and actually, the DAX got over a, a breakdown bar, so that looked pretty positive. You had a big sell-off over in Shanghai, 3% right at the close. Uh, it's down about four and a half. Um, we'll see what it does tonight. Uh, that was the big black mark. But outside of that, it was the Russell down 1.58% today. Taking it on the uh, chin was the small caps. But you had selling broad-based across the indexes. They gapped up. They sold them off into the close. You got the ECB tomorrow. You got Google, Microsoft after the bell. So you got a lot happening tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be a big day in the markets. As far as what it looks like, here's the S&P 500. Three days we stall. Today we come off. We come off with a little bit of volume. Remember, what this was doing was it was testing that breakdown bar. Tested into it three days running. Just couldn't get over it. Today finally gives it up. Starts down, gets a little bit of volume on the way back. Coming back into a swing point high. So, you know, essentially what you're doing here is you're coming back in to a bullish now retest regenerate and so the key is is how does it act as it comes back into this area you know does it find support and find its way back up or not and if it doesn't you know then this thing's going to come on back down it's going to come back down in these lower areas and try to find support you got it here there and of course all the way down at the bottom that's the S&P 500 if we move over uh, let's go to the NASDAQ so on the NASDAQ here you have, uh, I, I, in a way, kind of the same thing, right, in that you, uh, you, you you test up into this area. You give it up today. You got some volume expansion here as you come off the highs. You were just coming into this high. You never could get to the high. The bar you were really playing with here was this one. Did get over it for a couple days. Now back under it. You know, the support is right at the bottom of it. So that's where I expect the buyers to try to show up if they're going to you know at these higher levels so not a big tell there uh, that's kind of the way that one looks the NDX is the one that's more of a tell because the NDX if you remember uh, was actually trying to get over let's get that chart up here the NDX was trying to get over that swing point high did for a day right and then started struggling gets under it yesterday gets under it again today volume picks up actually did not get back over this high 44.64.78 Got the 44.6473 today. Starts to come off, comes off a little bit of volume. It was also testing into the higher breakdown bar. So in all respects, this thing is trying to come back as well. And finally, the small caps. Small caps were giving it up all day. They were leading on the way down. Uh, they hung up there three days. They could not get over just the highs from the week prior, where everybody else was up into this area, right? They couldn't even get up there. Never even got into the swing point high, into the low of the high. Now it comes down. On the way down, you watch the weak one. The weak one does it break the lows or not on the way back down. So this will be the one to watch as this thing retraces. If we skip over to Europe and take a look over there, you know, the DAX was uh, uh, leading away on the upside today. And it gets up and over this breakdown bar. So we had the breakdown bar. DAX finds it way over the top, right? So finally gets over it. So now we'll see tomorrow if it can hang over it or not, right? That's kind of the key area. Has an ABCD structure just like so many of these now. Uh, where we take it off of this bar, right? So you kind of got this ABCD structure going up. And actually that looks like, let me look at that again. Yeah, and actually it's, it's a little bit farther down. So you go up here, get your retrace there, right? And that would take you back up to these highs. So that's the DAX structure. So it has farther run if it can. Resistance right up overhead. Uh, you hit into it today. Uh, we'll see how the charts redraw it tomorrow. 
if we look at the uh, CACs, uh, not as strong, but it has been stronger, so it's still hanging up here to high, still trying to get over uh, that swing point high. Uh, if we go over to uh, the Nikkei, all right, the Nikkei got some juice off of the um, depreciation in the yen, so it spikes over a swing point high there, over a swing point high here. If we bring over the weekly chart, you know, what it's trying to do is get back into these swing point lows, which are the bearish retest regenerates. So if we draw those out, right, you got them, uh, actually you got one here, and then you got another one up above it, or actually right above it here, and then another one uh, to the side of that one, right? So you've you got multiples on the way back up. And so the, the real resistance will be here, and then that also is the breakdown area. 19,000 roughly, 19,000 to 19,200. That's where I'd expect it to have issues. And uh, that's probably it for overseas. So, oh, the Shanghai. Let's look at the Shanghai. So the Shanghai sells off 3%. Now, the thing that was interesting is it came off with some volume. Uh, it closes at 3260. Well, the low was 3268. Yeah, so as it got towards that breakdown bar, remember this is the bar I've been telling you I'd like to see it get over it to tell us something's different. It gets to 3446, that number was 3507. Doesn't get there. So it comes back into the bearish retest regenerate at 3385, trades into it for two bars, and then closes under it on the second bar. And so you can see the volumes over here. You can see the volumes coming back into it. Uh, that is not a happy camper. Uh, type of pitcher, uh, in my opinion. If we move over to the subsectors, now the major sectors, uh, you actually have a couple things here to pay attention to. One was the biotechs. Biotechs just cannot move. So you had Bib uh, with uh, Biogen with with uh, reports this morning. It was up at eight percent. Before you know it, though, the biotech gives it all up. Valiant just takes a dive. They ended up trading down at 6% at one point, closes down about uh, half a percent is all. Um, but this thing is pressing, it's pressing back towards the lows and volumes picking up. So biotech's a problem. The other problem now for the bulls is the SOX gives it up. So the SOX goes over the swing point high, volume over there 563, you do 526. So you go over it, back under it, you test it, you fail price and volume. Things going to come back into this big bar now. So, you know, the, the two things that you would want to see in tech have given it up now and are not looking uh, to take us higher. So in general, if we look at this market and we ask ourselves coming into tomorrow with all the news, you know, what's it going to do? Everything now finally and congruently pointing down. It's pointing, you know, I mean, they're not strong signals, but they are signals to the downside. They're saying that this market's going to try to retrace. And so I don't know what Draghi's going to say. It looks to me from the markets, he's not going to say much. And he's going to promise, but he's not going to deliver anything more at this point. And that probably is going to uh, engineer some sort of a sell-off as a result. That's it for tonight. Thanks for joining me. As always, have a good one. Tell a friend, tell two. I'm L.A. This is and was your daily Neo TA wrap. Have a great night. I'll see you tomorrow.